Inspire was set up as a program under Abuja Technology Village to support uh, development of uh, technology-centric startups. We were uh, initially operating out of a much smaller space that basically limited what we could offer. And in doing that, we realized that um, the startups weren't getting uh, the best support that we could uh, provide because some come through our incubation program and eventually end up having to leave before they feel ready. Coming into Inspire, the sections and the space is just amazing because once you come in here, you feel like you're in a whole different world, a whole different space. And then it, it's mind blowing because then everything around you is an idea. Your idea comes to life once you step into this place. It's a different world out there, but once you come in here, you know, okay, you're here to actually develop something new, next generation ideas. A working space gives entrepreneurs that structure that they need to sort of like have a nine to five, so to speak, or a place where they can come together and meet co-entrepreneurs or co-founders to learn, to understand the different challenges and whatnot. And the fact that as a startup, you want to reduce your overhead cost initially. So that lean approach to building a business, a co-working space solves that real estate cost for startups. One of the challenges that we've seen in the tech space is uh, the pace at which technology is changing and uh, evolving. Uh, it was set up in 2013 um, to actually catalyze and build the ecosystem in Abuja, which was something that was seriously lacking. So I think the great inspiration with this um, space was because it was impossible. I think the impossibility was actually the great motivation and the huge variable in making this project come to life. I saw right away that you, you had the state-of-the-art technology. Okay. You were not using projectors, you were using screens, you know, and you had this multimedia sound effect you know, uh, environment. You are, you are also connected to the to the international media center where you could project lectures outside to any part of the world, and you could also receive lectures from any part of the world. There are a couple of places that have beautifully designed, um, you know, workspaces. But having a place that is designed with the entrepreneurs in mind is very important. And I think Aspire sort of focus on not just the aesthetics, but the functionality of providing a very tailored fractional services that is affordable, I believe, to, to entrepreneurs. Coming to Inspire actually gave me and my team a, a different understanding. Because Inspire get, made it easy for us to gain access to the information which we have now. And it's something that we couldn't find anywhere. I love particularly the sophistication of the thinking that has gone into what you've done. And in that, you know, in that mode, you surpassed anybody that's doing, doing anything like this. Uh, you have practically become the competition, the place to look at. I think this, the word inspire is really the thing. You will now begin to inspire other people that are trying to create hubs. This is born out of our analysis of many similar platforms globally. Um, so we were able to you know, explore and, and uh, look at many, many um, similar initiatives. Inspire believes in collaboration. We believe in collaboration. Being a government-owned entity, we have the opportunity to serve as that bridge between the policymakers and the creators and innovators in the space. Now, we have gone into strategic alliances with so many, a number of businesses, from e-commerce businesses to private businesses to even the government. Now, we are trying to now harness all these relationships in building the community. We want every person that steps in to inspire, to feel elated, to feel happy, and to feel truly, truly in awe of what Africa can produce.